Oh, my love is like a red, red rose that's newly sprung in June. Oh, my love is like the melody that's sweetly played in June. That's really good. I could have had you carry on doing that. It is Burns Night. There's no date... more written down. <laughs> <laughs> a day to mark the life, works and spirit of the great Scottish poet Robert Burns. And here to show us how it's done in style is Michelin-starred Highlands chef Michael Smith. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So it doesn't get any more traditional than what we're doing today, does it? It doesn't. Thank you for having me. Oh, this it's is uh, wonderful with the bagpipes. Yeah, it's great. We're going to do a traditional Burns supper with a few little twists here and there. OK. But first of all, let's talk about the haggis, because that's obviously the star of the show. Yes, it is. So haggis now you can buy and... Most shops, mm. you can get uh, vegetarian haggis, yeah. you can get gluten-free ones, all of those things now. And it's very, very simple to prepare because it's already cooked. Oh, right. So a lot of people don't need to be put off by the cooking part. All we're going to do is reheat the haggis. Ah, and how do you reheat it? So how do you reheat it? Two ways we're going to... Sh well, one way we're doing it today, we've got a pan of boiling water. Yeah. You buy the haggis, you take the packaging off, always follow the instructions on the packaging. Wrap it in foil, pop it in a pan with some simmering water, and you're going to do that for about 50 minutes per 500 grams. 50 minutes per 500 grams. It's a bit like cooking a Christmas pudding. Yeah, very much so, yeah. Okay. That's not the Loch Ness Monster one that you brought in earlier on. No, it's disappeared. Ah, has it? Where's it gone? I wonder where. I'm not sure. Where's that gone? So, another way to do that, you could do that same thing, wrap it in foil, mm -hmm. pop it in the oven at about 180 mm -hmm. for about an hour, and that's the same way. You're just reheating it till it's piping hot. Mm -hmm. okay. That's what you're looking for. OK. Another way to do it, and a, a really good way to do it is also in a microwave. You can do it in a microwave. Really? You can do it really, really quickly in a microwave, yeah. How, like, how long? Take out the packaging. Yeah. In a nice um, oven-proof dish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chop up a wee bit, yeah. cling film it, pop it in the microwave, give it about three to four to five minutes. No. But it will be on the instructions. You'll be able to follow it. OK, fine. All right. You need we'll to do it quickly. That's on. On. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So sorry. we'll crack on. So that's the haggis ready there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Normally, you'd have mash and neeps. Neeps Tatties and mash. And Tatties and neeps, yeah. Thank you. What we're going to do with that, so that's a very, very traditional. We're just going to mix up a little bit. We're going to make something called clap shot. Right. Which has double cream in it, it's got butter in it, and some spring onions. Mm. So what we've got here is we've got the cooked neeps and we've got the cooked tatties. Yeah. We've, we've got them on the heat there. We've mashed them down. We've heated the cream up with the butter in it. We're going to put the spring onions in there. Just warm that through. Oh, yummy. It's good stuff. This is all, remember, this is a celebration of humble but hearty food. It's yeah. perfect for weather like yeah. this. Yeah. Then we go with the cream and the spring onions. Oh, that just looks so good. So this is this is a little bit of luxury. I mean, good, that really I'm, is, isn't it? Look at that. I just want to eat that. Can I get a spoon? I've it's a, it's a great way to line your stomach, Holly. Well, yes. Uh, you're quite a, right. Good idea. Here you are. Thank you. Do you mind if could I could come just in handy this? for tonight? Of course you can. Thank you. So obviously, always check for salt and pepper, but it should be. Is it good to go? Is good it winter time? Amazing. Hearty but humble. Oh, can I go in again? Go for it. Thanks. I'm just going to take this haggis out. Now, this is the part we need to be careful, obviously. Pop it onto there. All you need to do is pop the foil off. And there, it shrunk. Right. <laughs> yeah, it has somewhat. If I pass it over here, actually. So there's the simmered haggis. Yeah. Now, you must simmer it because you don't want that to burst. Mm -hmm. If it boils, it'll burst. So when you go to a burn supper, normally when there's the big celebration, this is when they stick the dagger in oh, yeah, and it's yeah, all yeah. the theatrics and all that kind of stuff. But all we're going to do is we're just going to pop the knife in there like that. I thought it was going to go bang. No. Hopefully it won't go bang. So there we have it. And now you'll get the wonderful spicy aromas. And it's quite pepper. It does smell lovely. It's all quite a peppery sort of taste. A lot of spice. There's pepper, there's ginger, lots of lovely stuff. OK. You can give that a quick taste. Going in. So now we've got our veggies so that ready. Is yep. ready to go. And we've got our haggis ready. That is cooked and ready to go. Yep. So oh, all we need to do with that, there's no fancy presentation here. Simple and delicious. A nice spoonful of the clap shot. That's a great name. Clap shot. Clap shot. You take a spoonful of the haggis. Now, if you want to, you can eat it just like this. Yeah. Or you could make a little whiskey sauce for it. OK. Which mm -hmm. is very, very quick and very easy. You would just take... Is that what's here? That's... No, that's for the... Drink. Dessert. Oh, fine. Stop putting him off. Sorry. It's all right, we've got it here. We've got the cream. All we're going to add to that, obviously, is we're going to heat it through. A little bit of... Dijon mustard, yep. iron mustard. Yeah. A little bit of salt and pepper. You would just warm that through. Whisk it in or stir it in. 
You can put in a little bit of lamb stock cube if you wish. That's optional. You don't have to do that, but it just adds a little meaty flavour. Bring that to the boil. Most important part. The whiskey. The whiskey. It's up to yourself how much you want. Mm -hmm. You decide. <laughs> That's a lot of whiskey sauce. So you're right, Holly, sorry. That is what we've got right there. So if you could pass me the sauce, please. This one? Yeah. And then we I'll just you pour it. a little bit on. Oh, hello. This is an embellishment. And there you have a burn supper. Very quick, very simple, no faffing about, okay. no presentation, just about flavour. Mm. And that's a celebration of the great poet himself. That's amazing. Is that good? Yeah. Would you have, you wouldn't put wheat, neat whiskey onto the haggis itself? Or would you, you could. It, yeah, could of you? course. Yeah, of course. Do a lot of flambe just like All the Christmas right. pudding. Well, that was a, well, that was a question here. from our editor. <laughs> All right. Who is, you know, so this is the reason everything is happening today. <laughs>